Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation. And in a recent video, I misspoke and said that uh, on another topic that the Grib Viewer in OpenCPN did not have a way to interpolate the times of the vector uh, winds so that if the winds were every three hours we could only look at them every three hours for example here and uh, which is a typical forecast um, see it's 15 18 21 like that and well the answer was uh, that uh, the program can indeed do it i just didn't know how to do it which was um, pointed out by a commenter which is the value of the comments and we really appreciate that um, so here is the how you do it. Um, if you look here, let's look at, for example, here's a case with this wind here, and that's at 15 Zulu, and the next actual forecast is 18 Zulu, and see that is a 20 knots. That's, uh, well, 20 knots, we can read it up here. I put the cursor right over the end tip of the arrow here, and, uh, well, and it's a 20, so you can see up here in this, in this window, that's about 21 knots. 21 knots right there. And, um, or this 5BF, that, uh, that probably stands for Beaufort Force. It's a 5 on a Beaufort Force. That's a wind scale, wind speed scale used in England and maybe other parts of Europe. It's not so much used in the U.S. So here's this wind here, and then back, that's at 18 Zulu. You go back at 15 Zulu, and it's uh, somewhere here on the southwest at uh, lower speeds. So here's a way you do that. You set up for any time. Again, it's uh, interpolating, it's interpolating the data, so it may not be right. It's not what they were actually forecasting, but in sometimes if you're comparing with actual wind, wind measurements uh, from buoys or from the ASCAT satellites or something, it's useful to set it to a particular time. That's a best guess. So here you go into, um, you just go in here to this, um, let's see how do I move that around, into the wheel, the, the settings, and under settings, interpolate the wind speeds. It's a warning that uh, that's interpolation, that's proper enough. And then here you can set the time steps that you're going to see. So we're not actually going to, like some other programs, actually type in a time and go there, but we can set the steps, like every, every 20 minutes, say. You want to know the wind speed every 20 minutes. So you go to interpolate, you put it at 20 minutes, say OK. Now, um, when we come back up here, let's see. Get that back. So here is the here's the wind at this point here, at uh, 15 Zulu. Then at 18 Zulu, it's already here. But if you want to see how that's evolved to compare it with um, some uh, some uh, buoy report or lighthouse report from here, then you come up here and would just step through here. Uh, that's 20, and the way that works is that's turning on a vid uh, sort of an animation, but you could just stop it. You see, watch that vector here rotating into that 20 knots like that. So here's 15 Zulu, then you start, and if you want a particular time, you just have to set that settings to be small enough to get to the time you want, and when that time hits it over here, just stop this. And then see now at this time, um, at uh, 20, oh, that's already past the 18, so let me go back. Uh, go back to the 15. Say I wanted it at 1640. 1640. I want to know what the wind is right here according to this this forecast. So I would just start this and then 162040. Stop it. All right. So there's what the wind is there. So that's a way to do it, and you can do that. I'm um, I'm glad to know how to do that now. I did not know that beforehand, so I appreciate the comments that we got on how to do that. Thank you.